So you became a leader. And the moment you became a leader, suddenly, almost magically, you were imbued with all the wisdom, all the skills, all the abilities, all the relationships that you needed to be a leader, right? Of course not. We assume that leadership is just caught and not taught. And so foolishly, we don't teach it. No wonder there's a crisis of leadership in the world where people don't want to take on formal roles of leadership because we feel like imposters. We feel like we don't know what we're doing. Friends, I'm not here to tell you that leadership is easy. In fact, I'm here because leadership isn't easy. But I am here to tell you that leadership is worth it. If you do leadership well, it will have an outsized impact on everything around you. It'll change the world. And if you don't, the, the danger is that you could get to the end of your life working hard and striving and driving and then feel frustrated that nothing really changed, nothing really happened. You didn't make a, a dent in the world. The, the transformation I so desire in the world around me is the transformation that first has to happen in here. What I've discovered is that there are four characteristics in me and in every healthy leader that you meet that if you can find them and then grow them, it changes everything around them. True, brave, kind, and curious. These qualities or characteristics are found in cadence, in rhythm, in pattern, in daily practice, the cave, the road, the table and the fire. So start your morning in the cave. It's the quest of the true. Be intentional on the road. It's the way of the brave. Gather others around the table. It's the art of the kind. End your day by the fire. It's the pursuit of the curious. So here's an invitation from me to you to become the kind of leader that you always wanted to be true, brave, kind, and curious. The kind of leader that transforms things for good.